Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Heath. I'm here to do your daily worksheets with you for day number six. Make sure you have day number six with you. And I also have my picture key ready to go. We are going to use a something to color with that's blue today. So I have my blue marker and I have my black marker to do my writing part. You can use a pencil or a crayon, whatever you would like. We're going to work on math, language arts, and you can do your reading journal when you do your reading today. One thing that's really cool I'm noticing about these is that when we go on to the next week, we have new tasks to do. So each week we'll be doing the same things Monday through Friday, and then when it becomes a new week, we'll start new tasks. So we're going to work today in math on fact families, teen numbers, sums of five, and writing numbers. So all of these are new tasks for us for a new week. Let's start with teen numbers here with our little caterpillar guy. I see a number line and it says fill in the missing teen numbers. Now you can use your number line to help you decide which numbers come before number 12 and after number 12. So if I was to find number 12 on the number line, I see it right here, and I see the number that comes just before number 12 is 11. So I'm gonna take my marker and write number 11. And then looking at the number line, it goes 11, 12, and then 13 is my next number after 12. And so I'm gonna put it right there. Done. Next one, sums of five. As you see, this is the beginning part of a 10 frame, or it's the top part of a 10 frame because I see five squares here. It says, use the five frame to complete the equation. So here's our five frame. I see one, two, three dark circles and one, two clear circles. So I'm going to take the dark circle number and add it or plus to the clear circle number. And then it's gonna have a total of five for my five frame. So let's count the dark circles. One, two, three. That's my first number, three. Clear circles, one, two. That's my second number, two. Three plus two equals five. And you can check that on your fingers. Make sure three plus two does equal five. Fact families. We're gonna move on to fact families. There's something for fact families I would like to show you today. I have a number bonds mat, and I'm seeing that's gonna be hard to see with the light on top of it. A number bonds mat is showing you that you're always going to have three numbers in a fact family. You're always going to have the big number on top that's gonna to equal the two smaller numbers. So when we're thinking about that with our fact family today, we have numbers four, five, and one. I'm gonna take my dry erase marker now so I can use it on my mat, my number bonds mat. And so we have four, five, and one. Out of these three numbers, five is my biggest number. So if you were to put it on a number bond mat, you're gonna put five as the biggest number on top. The other two numbers I have are four and one. So I'm gonna put four and one as the two littlest numbers on the bottom of my number bond mat. Now, when you use this mat, you use it in a triangle formation and you can go this way or you can go this way or you can even start at one of the corners. If you start with the biggest number, you're doing subtraction, which will be these at the bottom here. If you start with one of the littlest numbers, you're doing addition, which is these up here. So if we were to do an addition problem with this, let me get my writing marker ready to go. I'm gonna use the two littlest numbers to do our addition problem and I can start with four. So it would be four plus one equals five. And it would look like this, four plus one equals five. And you can check that on your fingers, four plus one. Now I'm going to start with my number one and move to four. It would be one plus four equals five. One plus four equals five. Now we're gonna move on to subtraction and using a number bond mat, you're going to use the biggest number and either go this way or this way. I'm gonna start with four. So I'm gonna go five minus four equals one. So it looked like this, five minus four equals one. Then I can go the other way, five minus one equals four. Five 
minus one equals four. And remember, you can check this on your fingers. Five take away one equals four. So we can practice using this number bond mat when we're doing our fact families. I'm gonna do that with you. It'll help you understand the number bonds a little bit better and the fact families, they work together. Let's go on to writing numbers. Fill in the missing numbers. I see a timeline, or excuse me, a number line again. And in this number line, it's going to include the numbers that we're missing in our grid here. So this kind of looks like our hundreds chart a little bit. I'm going to trace the numbers they already have. I see nine, 10, and 11. If I wanna know what number comes after 11, which is gonna go here, I could look at my number line and I see 12, and then 13. 14 is given to us as a tracer. 15 is next. What comes after 15? 16. Then 17. Then 18. Then 19 is given to us. And our last number is 20. Look at that, math is done. You can make sure to fill in your star on your task sheet. I have my blue marker. I'll fill in my star blue today. And we're going to move on to language arts. Now remember, this is when we need our picture key. So we're going to work on phonics, reading, and writing. This one's pretty much the same as we have been doing for language arts, but we have a new word family and our word family is the UB word family. And I see the word sub. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Sub. I see the UB word family is here on my picture key. And I see a bear. I'm not sure bear and sub. They don't rhyme. I don't think that's the same word family. So what could this be? I'm going to check my picture key. And I see the bear here. And it's C-U-B. C-U-B. And if I sounded that out, it's K. Ub, cub. Ooh, bathtub. Ooh, maybe that's the word, tub. T-U-B, I think I'm right. T, ub, tub. Wow, a foot. I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can find it. I see R-U-B on my picture key. R-U-B. R, ub, rub. Sub, cub tub, rub. Ooh, I know those are all in the same family. They rhyme. Let's move on to reading. We're going to use the UB words in reading today. Let's read the first line together. I see the boy giving a bath to his animal. I bet that's what we're reading about. I give my dog a bath. He is in the big white tub. Scrub a dub in the tub. Well, that was good. I rub my dog with soap. I like that. Now, we have to find our UB words, and that's what I have my blue marker for. It says color all the UB words blue. So let's find them. Do I see any in this first line? No. Second line? Tub. Third line has a lot. I see scrub, dub, scrub a dub in the tub. That was a lot. Last one, rub. And no more. So we finished that. Who got a bath, cat or dog? Well, I can look at the picture and tell you it's a dog, but I remember from the reading it was a dog. I give my dog a bath. Writing. <clears throat> Write one to two sentences using a, the picture word bank. Brush, soap, towel, bath, take care of. Okay, let's think of a sentence using some of those picture, picture words. We can do take care of. I take care of my dog by giving him a bath. I take care of my dog by brushing him or using a brush. 
I take care of my dog with a brush. Ooh, that's a good one because I like with as a sight word. Let's do that one. I take care of my dog with a brush. I, and here's take care of, I'm copying, take care of, and then my, and you could put dog or cat. I'm going to put dog. I take care of my dog with, I can copy the with right here. It's a sight word, if you remember it, with a, and then I'm copying the word brush, B-R-U-S-H, period. I made sure I had finger spaces in between my words. I made sure I had a capital letter at the beginning and a period at the end. This is a complete sentence. I take care of my dog with a brush. Fantastic, guys. We can color our star saying we finished our language arts now. And when you move on to reading, you can color your star for reading. Three more tasks you can complete today and finish your whole sheet. I hope you have a great day, guys. Thank you for doing this with me. See you tomorrow.